What was he doing in that video? Creating a super emotional. Very um, emotional. How did he create that emotion? What, what did he combine? Family, love. Um, you know, like talk the senses, like, you know, you can see family. Mm -hmm. How about the way he said it? Did you hear the, the pace, the tonality? Mm -hmm. Kind of ma matches the, um, the emotion that I think he was trying to incite from, uh, you know, from the pitch, you know, just calm, you know, just, yeah. Can we, can we do, can, yeah, it's a great example of someone who prepared. He could have told about this Kodak carousel. I think it was back in the 60s or something with slides and things like that. And he could have talked about the way it's made and the quality of the product and the pricing and the financing and how it has a 10 foot cord and a remote control. He could have talked about all that, did he? No. no. What did he, he talked about the memories it creates and it brings back. And these were guys looking for an advertising agency. What do you think? What do you, and they said, well, we're going to a lot of different companies. That's why the guy at the end said, good luck at your next meeting. Do you think they're going to a next meeting when a guy makes a presentation, when a person makes a presentation like that? No. No. Can you close, when you make, um, so um, can you close somebody emotionally in any business, in any product or service first? You're still going to have to go to the intellectual, the academic, the logical side. People still want to know the price, the financing, and everything else. You're still going to go there. But how much easier is it if you do it emotionally first?